Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Cincinnati Bengals and the Chicago Bears. And it kicks off next on Madden NFL 25. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to one of the legendary venues in the sport. Historic Soldier Field in Chicago. Good to be with you, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson here in the booth. Greg, we got a couple of teams who love to throw the football. And you know how guys say, hey, we're not going against the other offense. We're going against the other team's defense. Greg, these star wide receivers, you know they're watching what the other guy does on the field here today. Oh, in their minds, there's no question. They are competing against one another. And I think that's what makes this league so fun is when these guys, they know each other, they study each other, they work together in the off seasons. A lot of times they're friends. And come game day, there is no question at the end of this one. Yes, they want their teams to win. But when they put their two box scores up next to each other, there's going to be some bragging rights come this offseason. Stage is set. Ball is on the tee. And off we go on EA Sports. Here's Chris Evans to return. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Bengals offense comes out led by their quarterback, Joe Burrow. And they keep him healthy, because when he's good, he's so good. Won the Heisman during his days at LSU. Took this team to the Super Bowl. Now Greg, year five for Burrow with the Bengals. There's just certain guys, Mike, when they take the field and they step into the huddle, the other 10 players, they just take a little bit of a deeper breath. They're like, man, I'm glad this guy is on our side, and he's certainly one of them. He just brings an element of confidence to everybody else around him, not only in the huddle, but on the sideline, on the defense, the coaching staff. Everyone is better as the result of him being your quarterback. And they will bring this into the red zone. Big connection inside the 20. A huge play right off the bat. A gain of 57 yards. Well, they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air. And that's exactly what they wanted to do. Generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points. break the huddle coming up now for first and ten here's the free agent signee from Indy it's Zach Moss and he'll work forward for about three it's second down Another try with Moss. Only a couple on that one. It'll set up third down. Burrow from out of the gun here on third down. And he's going to have the first down. They convert on third, and it sets up a first and goal. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one-on-one, -on -one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, like we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play understand where the holes in the defense are and get there and be friendly to the quarterback and if you're open stay open that's nfl route running that's what the best guys do inside the five it is second and goal they'll run with moss and he'll get about halfway there that's a gain of two down to the two They'll use three tight ends in the formation for third and goal. They send the tight end in motion. 
They'll run. It's Moss. And he'll just get up inside those big bodies up front. And he's in. Zach Moss. Touchdown, Bengals. Exactly the way they scripted this one. A beautiful opening drive, Greg. Able to find the end zone on the game's first possession. And Mike, the word that comes to mind looking at that drive is execution. And that's exactly what they talked about all week long. They wanted to come out early in this game and establish an early rhythm. And that's exactly what they did with that touchdown drive. Evan McPherson now to kick the extra point. It's up and through. And the Bengals will take a 7-0 lead. nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. DeAndre Carter on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The Bears come out with their quarterback, Caleb Williams. All of Chicago hoping this is the man who can finally answer that long search for a franchise quarterback for the Bears. Won the Heisman. He's the number one overall pick in this past year's draft. And we've continued to see the young quarterback, Mike, just continue to get used to the speed of the game. And I think that's the biggest thing you hear young quarterbacks talk about coming out of the college ranks. Regardless how good you were in college or what level you played at, there is a big jump in just the speed. In, the in, in trouble, and down he goes. Looked like a pass protection breakdown. They had five offensive linemen and a running back in the backfield. I promise you, somebody was assigned to that linebacker, but he timed the blitz perfectly. He ran through and was able to bring him down for a big sack. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. From the shotgun, it's Williams. A whole lot of chances on that one. It was bouncing around, but it falls incomplete. Really just been a combination of errors here on this drive. I mean, the sack on first down put him in a bad spot. Then the incompletion there trying to gain it back on second. And now they find themselves in a critical third down here. Or they're facing a three and out. Third and long. Here's Williams. He'll send this one deep for Odunze. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. I'm not going to sit here, Mike, and throw the guy a parade for ultimately what was an incompletion, but can we just take a second to appreciate the arm strength he was able to show there? I mean, I think that ball is over 60 yards in the air, and... I would be surprised if they continue to just air it out and see if they can complete one of those. Now, fair catch is taken back inside the 40. The Bengals offense ready to get going with their second possession. They lead 7-0 thanks to the touchdown on the opening drive. So try to double up here as they begin this drive first and 10. Oh, maybe a free play as he'll look to throw it. That's for the third round pick. It's Jermaine Burton. And he's down inside the 40-yard line.
Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Going to get that complete to Jamar Chase. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. A first catch there for Chase, and he's got a first down to go with it. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. I think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often, so that might be his first target. I don't think it's going to be his last. They'll come up here first and ten. On the handoff, this is Moss. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scourge, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. This play here, Mike, is just all about the get-off of the defensive line. Watch how fast they go when that ball is snapped. Nowhere for this running back except to go down for a loss. Second and 11. Working out of the gun, Burrow. That one, take it in. T. Higgins. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Greg, offensive coordinators script the start of the game. This script has read perfectly. What a great start for this offense. It just seems like every play this offensive coordinator dials up is perfectly timed and then perfectly executed. They've been aggressive, they've been efficient right since the start of this one. And I'll tell you what, Mike, they continue to build on this lead here early. Mm. It's gonna be a long day for this defense. Mm -hmm. McPherson, good on the extra point. And the Bengals will extend their first quarter lead it's now 14 to nothing. to the TD on is McPherson to kick this one away Carter on the return now an opening past the 30 good return here brings it up to the 33 yard line the Bears offense ready for their second possession they'll start out first down and 10 Off play action. Here's Williams. He'll send this one deep for Odunze. And he will score. Roll Odunze. Touchdown, Bears. Well, that is a quick drive and the best way to finish it. The touchdown pass downfield. Greg, you rarely see a deep shot like that to start a drive. You're right, Mike. We don't see it a lot, but I wish we did. It's actually the most efficient and safest down to pass the ball. And in this case, the defense is thinking run, got a lot of defenders up in the box, and they're able to strike deep with a pass play for six. Now Cairo Santos to add the point after. The kick is good and the Bears are on the board it's now 14 to 7 Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, here comes Evans. 
and he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. Heading out now, the Cincinnati offense are going to get set to take over once more. They'll do so with first and 10. side down the field and it's complete and a big strike for good yardage there all the way up to midfield can't ask for much more 22 yards on the first play of the drop we talk so much about starting fast and then trying to sustain that throughout the course of the game that's exactly what they're doing here they've got the early lead but they're not content to just sit on the ball they're looking to extend it nice start here to this drive once they cross midfield, then it goes into go mode. You're trying to come away with points every single time you have the ball. It's a good way to start this game here in the first quarter. Now Burrow on the bootleg. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove, and... There's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way, every play they call, you're wide open, and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. Burrow and his favorite target, Chase, for the Cincinnati first down. And really the key to this play was just how fast he was able to get through his progressions. His mind was able to process and go from one to two to three so quickly that he was able to get the ball to the right target on time. And I think so often those two things are different. Being open is one thing. Being open and getting the ball on time, that's what leads to success. And that's what we saw here. And he's very close to a touchdown. They mark him just shy of the goal line it is a gain of 23 yards and now they'll have four shots at it it's first and goal well they certainly aren't wasting any time marching down the field i mean you only need one hand to count how many plays they've run and yet they find themselves first and goal inside the low red zone A couple of big plays, one after the other, and now it's first and goal. Burrow. And he's in. Mike Kosicki. Touchdown, Bengals. McPherson now for the PAT. He's got it. And the Bengals will take a 21-7 lead. to the TD on is McPherson to kick this one away on the return it's Tyler Scott he'll work his way across the 25 yard line the Bears offense make their way out to take over once more they'll start it here with a first and ten
Working out of the gun, here's Williams. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. I wouldn't be surprised if some point here in the future, Mike, this quarterback drops back. It looks like the same old hitch route underneath we've seen a few times. And they give a pump fake and go. You can lull a defense to sleep with a lot of these underneath quick game passes. And once you do, you can try to go for the big one. They'll go play action here with Williams. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. A lot of terrific quarterbacks from Southern California. And here's another one. The rookie gets his team a first down. These crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch. And it's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game. Here's first and ten. Now the free agent signee from Philadelphia. It's DeAndre Swift. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. We are through one. It's the Bengals on top. We're back to Soldier Field after this. Second and seven. They'll go again with Swift. Trying to shove his way forward, but brought down after a gain of a yard. Third and five. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. inside the 25-yard line. Really showing off the elusiveness after the catch. That's a gain of 26. I know, I know, I'm biased. But listen, you can't convince me, Mike, that there's a better option on the field, especially when you got a guy like this than on third down or critical moments. That's where the ball needs to go. The size, the speed, the matchup problems that he creates. If I was in a critical situation, there is no doubt where I'm going with that. He's going to be marked down at the 12-yard line. Give him 12 on that one. They are on the march. Another first down. Up until that run, this first half, it's kind of been tough sledding here for this run game. They'd love to see him get going. That last big pickup's going to go a long way. Throwing on first down, it's Williams. And he will score. Caleb Williams. Touchdown, Chicago. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. The defense comes up with the coverage, but they cannot keep up with the speed as the quarterback scrambles to the end zone for the touchdown. And down here in the red zone, Mike, is where I think a quarterback's legs can be the most dangerous. The defenders are trying to match backs, match tight ends and receivers, but often it's the quarterback that has no one assigned to him, and in this case, he's able to capitalize and run it in himself. Santos, good on the extra point. And the Bears draw closer here. It's 21 to 14. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Travion Williams to return it and they'll bring him down just shy of the 30 yard line out comes Joe Burrow and the Bengals offense to take over once more they'll begin with first and ten
Now, Burrow. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. It's always a risky decision anytime a quarterback tries to force the ball, especially into those tightly contested areas. Not a lot of daylight, not a lot of room for error. In this case, it just falls simply as an incomplete. But as this game unfolds, better decisions are going to lead to better results. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Burrow to throw. That's to his big tight end, Gesicki. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Look him up on a second down and eight. To throw is Burrow. This one, downfield, taken in by Higgins. That catch puts him over 100 yards for the game, and we still have another half to go. That catch picks up the first down. There's a reason certain guys, Mike, just always seem to be open. It's really because route running is more art than it is science. How do you manipulate the defense to find open spots or win versus man to create separation and earn the trust of your quarterback? A first down throw for Burrow. Try him again. Another one to Higgins. He is in. T. Higgins. Touchdown, Cincinnati. That's his second touchdown so far here in the first half. And that is number two. Greg, he is off to some kind of start of this one. Two quarters and two receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer because right now they don't have one for this guy. On is McPherson for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Bengals have doubled their advantage. It is now a 28-14 game. to the TD on is McPherson to kick this one away Carter on the return and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line the Bears offense about ready to take over once more will try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten Here's Williams. That's a short throw caught by Komet. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. Love to start any drive like that. 18 on the first play. And a first down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And there wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and 
That was a good one there. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. First and ten. Williams. To the left side, into the hands of Moore. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Again, Williams. Cross right side to the tight end connect. The Bears are going to be set up. First and goal. He's out of bounds at the six-yard line. 13 yards on that one. Move the sticks. It's a first down. Well, a chance to get right back in it here. First down and goal. Throw it again. It's Williams. And that is caught in the end zone. He's in. D.J. Moore. Touchdown, Bears. Santos for the extra point. He's got it. And the Bears are back to within seven. It's Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, here comes Evans. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. And another great throw right there, Mike. And when you take a look at the numbers, they certainly don't lie. He has just been flat-out terrific in this first half. His ability to spread the ball around, take what the defense has given him, they've certainly had a lot of success here early on. From 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. Here's Burrow. Open man is the tight end sample. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Just take what the defense is giving you. And you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath. Pitch routes, quick game. Now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. Burrow here on second down. This is intercepted. It's the linebacker, Tremaine Edmonds. I know it doesn't seem like a ton of yards on top of that pick, but that was really well done. I mean, it's just going to make life so much easier now as the offense takes the field trying to capitalize off of that turnover. The Bears offense and D.J. Moore heading back onto the field. 
They can get back into this quickly now. Very short field ahead. It is first and ten. To throw, it's Williams. That'll be caught by DeAndre Swift. And he's into the end zone. DeAndre Swift, touchdown Chicago. And the show continues. What a first half he's had, Greg. A third touchdown pass with that one. Mike, what stood out to me the most so far is just the amount of space these guys have had to operate in. I think if I'm this defensive coordinator, me and my staff at halftime are revisiting this game plan. They obviously felt good about it coming in, but I don't think there's anything to feel good about thus far. On is Santos for the PAT. The kick is good. And the Bears have come back to level things. It's 28 off. So back to level after the touchdown. And time for the kickoff. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Bengals offense and T. Higgins set to take over once more. They'll work in a tie game here in the second quarter and get started with first and ten. Try to set up the screen with Moss. And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two-minute warning. Two minutes to play here in what's been an even first half. We'll come back to Soldier Field. Following this, they'll work now on second and fourth. Throwing is Burrow. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Really nice job here by the quarterback, understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver, pick up a first down. The middle of the field, that's taken in by Chase. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Second and a yard. Working out of the gun, Burrow. To the left side, caught by Chicks. Already closing in on 100 yards receiving in the first half. That one picks up a first down. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. Everyone talks about being balanced. But as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early, and that last pickup leads to a first down. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Second down, Burrow. Take it in by Gasicki.
They'll look to pick this up. Third and a yard. Burrow from out of the gun here on third down. And the Bengals are going to have a first and goal. That tackle's made at the 10-yard line. Touchdown, Bengals. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. He has done it again. That is four touchdown passes in this first half. Greg, he might skip halftime with the way he's performing right now. Yeah, Mike, this passing attack is just really unstoppable. I mean, it is just remarkable the success he's been able to have. We're not even at halftime yet. He finds himself on record pace. I can't wait to see what he does the rest of this game. McPherson, good on the extra point. And the Bengals will go up by seven. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. Carter on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The home team's offense going to take over just before the half. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. From the shotgun, it's Williams. That one complete to Moore. And he's going to get this to the 37 yard line. Set to go now on first and 10. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. Right back to Moore, another grab. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. Williams going to look to throw it on first down. Throw right side caught by Odunze. And he will go all the way. Rome Odunze. Touchdown Bears. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. So now this to get them back to even heading into the break. He gets it to go. And the Bears will tie things up all even at 35.
So, a new ball game. We are all tied. Final moments of this first half as the kick's away. And this one is fielded in the end zone. Will not be returned. So, it'll come out to the 30. First and ten, Burrow. He'll look deep, left sideline. And this one is pulled in. What a grab. So we've recapped time here. It has been an entertaining first half. As we'll send you down to Orlando now, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Mike, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports halftime report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Coach, thank you. Not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half. Both teams look good on the offensive side in the first half. Will it carry over? We're about to find out. Second half is underway. He'll get across the 20. Mark him down at the 23-yard line. Out comes the number one overall pick, Caleb Williams, and the rest of the Chicago offense. And he's been as good as advertised. Take you through some of the highlights. Four touchdown passes on point with his receivers right throughout and continuing to master running and executing this offense. Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Swift. That lane closes quickly. A pickup of three. Sam Hubbard, they're on the tackle. Another run here. Another run by Swift. He is not going to get away. Might have gotten a yard, but it will set up third down. Operating from the shotgun, it's William. He's got a man. That's DJ Moore. A gain there of 16 yards. First down, Chicago. Now, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem. And plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there. And that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Here's Williams. This one taken in by Odunze. And they'll have it across midfield down at the opposing 46-yard line. He had two touchdowns earlier looking to see what he can do here in this second half. That grab gets them a first down. They will run it over center with Swift. He'll move it ahead for about three yards. Von Bell, the veteran safety, is there on the play. Williams to throw on second down. 
across right side to the tight end Komet. Here's a third down and four. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. And that is incomplete. He was looking for Keenan Allen on that one. And that'll set up fourth down. I think he predetermined that third down throw. And even though the coverage was tight, he still tried to fit the ball in there anyway. And it ended up falling incomplete. I think if he goes through his progressions and has a little bit more trust in his protection, I think there's an easier throw to make out there. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. to throw on first down. Back to his big tight end, Gesicki. And he's going to be dragged down, but not until he's inside the 25. It's another big play in a game that's had its share. That goes for 58. They simply just don't have an answer for this guy defensively, Mike. I mean, regardless of who they put on him in man coverage or the type of zone coverage they try to capture him with, they simply can't slow him down, and we've already seen it here today. A fair share of big plays through the air, a couple of which have gone for touchdowns. He's had a couple nice blocks in the run game. I mean, he's really having as well-rounded and complete game that a receiver can have in the NFL. And until they prove they can slow him down, I would just keep giving him more opportunities. 17 yards on the game, and now they've got first and goal. This is what every offense looks to do, Mike. They want to attack the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. And oftentimes, that's where the chunk plays come. Give it to your receiver on the move and let them do the rest. And he's into the end zone yet again. Mike Gesicki, touchdown Cincinnati. That is his third touchdown of the afternoon. And that is the hat trick. What a game. His third touchdown reception of this one. And nothing they've done to slow him down has worked, Mike. This defense, they're throwing multiple guys at him. They're playing man. They're playing zone. It doesn't matter. This guy is having his way, and he's having a day. McPherson, now for the PAT. He's got it. And the Bengals will go up by seven. To the TD on is McPherson to kick this one away. Scott now on the return. And he'll be taken down right at the 29 yard line. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and 10. He'll start this drive by keeping it himself. And maybe the quarterback should have given that one away. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. A lot of defense's strategy of defending the zone read, Mike, is we want that quarterback to pull the ball. It's one of their few chances throughout the course of the game where they can get their hits on him. And in this case, 
they're able to hold them to no gain. A play fake, and they'll throw with Williams. And he's not going to get away. They track him down. So after picking up some positive yardage on first down, they end up going backwards on second. That sack now brings up third and long, and what most of the time is a very pass-happy situation makes them very one-dimensional. Third and long. To throw, it's Williams. That's over the middle and taken in by Odunze. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. This is a really popular concept on third down. It's good versus man. It's good versus zone. They call it mesh routes or drag routes. They want to create some traffic in the middle of the field and pop the receiver out the backside of the defense. But give credit to the defense. They were ready for it. They rallied to the ball and keeps them short from picking up the first down. Another great throw, and that's been the story as you check out these numbers. I mean, he has done everything this team has asked of him and more. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. Off the play fake. Here's Burrow. Well, cover of the sideline, and it's intercepted. It's the linebacker, Tremaine Edmonds. So this is where an offensive play caller needs to come to the rescue of his quarterback. Because this defense, they're on to it. They've got two picks. They're starting to pick up on your tendencies. They're shifting guys over to counter them. Now you've got to add some wrinkles. Now you've got to throw them a curveball and try to shift back some of that advantage to your side of the ball. The home team's offense headed back to take over once more. They'll start really in field goal territory already, but they're looking for more. Offense got it first and ten. They'll go play action here with Williams. And he just does get that one away. He was being chased down, forced the awkward throw. And maybe he's fortunate that all it is is an incompletion. The whole idea of the play action pass, Mike, is that you can slow the pass rush down enough that it allows longer, slower developing pass concepts to open up downfield. But in this case, they were on him so fast that by the time he got his head around, that ball needed to come out. There was no timing and ultimately led in an incompletion. That is a gain of 20. What a chance now. First and goal coming up. Sudden change. So you find yourself defensively a little bit on your heels. Your offense just turned the ball over. Now you've got to go out and make a stand. Well, so far this offense has moved the ball pretty quickly. But can they dig in and at least force a field goal? Five yards from the house. They've got it first and goal. Now, William. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Doesn't get much better than that. Had he gotten there just a little bit earlier, he probably draws the flag a little late. And it's probably a touchdown. On the ground, it's Swift. And the defense stiffening here. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. Third and goal coming up. Well, after the failures of the first and second down, you gotta look now at your third down call sheet. Every play caller has a section, must have it plays, critical downs. I say this one falls in that category, and we'll see what they have up their sleeve. They'll try and throw, and here's Williams. And that is incomplete. The big tight end, Cole Komet, the intended receiver. And now it's fourth and goal. 
it's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Bears will cut the lead down to four. Yeah, he does a nice job handling that kick there. But I think offensively, you come back to the sideline and you're thinking, we have to find a way to finish these drives. I mean, to be in first and goal and settle for three, that can be very deflating for an offense settling for too many field goals. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. On the return, here comes Evans. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Well, he had such a great first half throwing the football. There's no reason to think, Mike, coming out here for the start of the third, that anything's going to change. He's picked up right where he left off, and the numbers are indicative of just how well he's played. break the huddle coming up now for first and ten they go play action for Burrow uh, first down throw there is incomplete he's already been a little reckless with his decision making up until this point Mike and now it almost backfires on him again he has to do a better job of finding the matchups finding the space on the field so everything is not a forced ball into these tight windows. Burrow here on second down. And they bring him down there, but it is inside the 10. It is going to be first and goal. It's another big play in a game that's had its share. 67 yards. Well, this is the epitome, Mike, of short throw, long run. Everyone talks about the importance of these explosive plays. And, of course, a lot of them come through the passing game. But you don't always have to throw the ball deep downfield for big gains. Oftentimes, it's accurate throws on the run in open space that leads to great run after catch. And we're seeing more and more of these wide receivers in the NFL that with the ball in their hands, they turn into running backs. He's going to be dropped. They get to him back at the 15-yard line. The defensive coaches, they preached all week, Mike. They have to have relentless pursuit of this quarterback when he tries to extend the play. So often, it results in a great play for the offense and a big pickup. This time, because of that pursuit, it leads to a big loss. First down was not very good. Here's second and goal. Working out of the gun, Burrow. To the outside, it's looked in by Chase. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers. Everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. So can the defense come up with the early stop here on third and goal? Burrow from out of the gun here on third down. This one caught at the four. And this defense going to get to him at the three-yard line, bringing up fourth down. And that's going to do it. With that last throw, he surpasses Norm Van Brocklin, most passing yards ever in a game. Van Brocklin at 554 over 70 years ago 1951 help from the o-line help from the receivers an incredible performance an nfl record set here
the offense staying out there for this fourth and goal. They'll try it now with Moss. And he's into the end zone. That might be the knockout punch. Zach Moss. Touchdown, Bengals. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Everything you want to do right there, Greg, in the fourth quarter, get the ball with the lead and extend it to a two-score advantage. Yeah, and I think this just might end up being too much to overcome. You said it. Once you get a two-score lead this late in the fourth quarter, there's just not enough possessions to be had to claw yourself back in it. McPherson, good on the extra point. And the Bengals will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. After the TD, on is McPherson to kick this one away. Carter on the return. And he'll be taken down as the next drive will begin there. The home team's offense ready to see what they can do. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. Play fake. Now Williams. That complete to Swift. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. It's a gain of 16. And very quickly, a first down. Things certainly look a little improbable right now, Mike. But I wouldn't say impossible. I think they've got to capitalize on this possession to pick up some points. Good start there. Early completion. But now they've got to get across midfield and go. Every single possession right now is priceless. Points, possessions, and then they got to get some defensive stops. Here's a second and six. From the shotgun, it's Williams. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. I got high standards for offensive players, but in this case, Mike, I think I'm giving all the credit to the defender. He timed that one up perfectly, and what could have been an easy play ends up as an incomplete. On third down, it's Williams. Got the hook up there to Ogunze. They get 16 on that connection. Good for a Bears first down. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark. Just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. They'll come up here first and ten. Thrown quickly. That's more on the RPO. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. Throw it again. It's Williams. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. He was looking to get it to DJ Moore. Third down coming up. They're lucky to have avoided this mistake here, Mike. In the fourth quarter with possessions running out, that would have been a critical back-breaking play in this game. And 
They're going to have second life now after that defender drops the ball, and let's see if they can take advantage of it. So now, the Brazilian-born Cairo Santos in a big spot. This to get back to a one-possession game. And this one, right down the middle. It's good. And they are indeed back within one score. It's always a little bit of a letdown, Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone, and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through, and they get three. So the field goal makes it a one-score game here in the fourth quarter as they kick it away. On the return, here comes Evans. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. And you think back to the first half, Mike, just how well he threw the ball, and you thought maybe this defense would come up with some answers in the second half to slow him down. But so far, that has proven to not be the case. They bring Chase in motion. On first down, Burrow. He'll get this complete. It's Moss. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Second down. Burrow. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. So the hope is when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the backside of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on him early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. Tight end motioning left. Burrow. This is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. And that's exactly how you teach it. They want these defenders to time the hit that right when the ball gets there, you separate the receiver from the ball. And those are the ones on offense, man. You just have to make that catch, Mike. I know it's easier said than done, but you know the hit's coming. You've got to squeeze that thing, brace for impact, and... Make that play for your offense. The home team's offense ready to take over possession of the football. The deficit is eight as this drive begins with first and ten. shut down pretty quickly they'll get back to the line of scrimmage nothing more you want to see linebackers play downhill Mike meaning there's not a lot of side to side pursuit they're attacking the line of scrimmage attacking the ball carrier that's exactly what we saw out of this guy here he's able to make the stop at the line of scrimmage and keep it to no gain on second down it's Williams that's a short throw caught by Komet and nice work there after the catch. He's a little short of the first down after a gain of seven. They'll come up to third and three. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. Williams. 
great reaction by the defense. At first, Mike, it looked like there was enough room out there for the quarterback to pick this one up himself, but they were able to rally to the ball, and I think the officials are going to mark him just short. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. This pass caught right side. It's Allen. Jamar Chase headed back out there along with the rest of his Bengal teammates. He'll have a short field looking to build on the lead. First down throw for Burrow. There's that man again. Another catch. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Really well done here by the defense, Mike. Executing this zone defense. And they've got to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that one dialed in right from the jump, and they were able to stop that play really before it got started. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. So two minutes left to play in the second half. Greg and I back for the conclusion. In a moment. From the 39, here's a first and 10. He'll give up the middle to Moss. And he's brought down after a gain of a couple. They'll drop to throw. There's a throw right side. Going to be incomplete. You know, it's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this is one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. <laughs> And this is going to be incomplete. That is a letdown there. Pass looked to be on target. No catch. And now fourth down. I just don't like the look of this passing game, Mike. It just seems a bit erratic. On top of the two straight incompletions, they've already turned the ball over through the air. And truthfully, with how dangerous some of these throws have been, they're lucky it hasn't been even more. And this one is off the mark. It is no good. And they will not be able to make this a two-possession game. Here's first and ten. On the ground, this is Moss. That's a second charge timeout to Chicago. And they'll get together prior to this second down play.
Moving the tight end right. Now a second down throw for Burrow. He's going to tuck it and go. He's taken down just shy of the 10. The Bears go ahead, take their third and final timeout. They'll be disappointed there after giving up the first down. The defense still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterback's down to an E. Your father... Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. So, this one, a win for the visiting Bengals. They got out of the gates hot, ran out to the big first quarter lead, and did not look back as they cruise in this one. So, that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind